and then he was coming into my space. He was rudely licking all over me. This is very rude. Can you imagine if someone came up to you in the grocery store and started licking you? That would be very awkward, everyone. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about what are you teaching your horse? What signals are you giving your horse? And I think that this is something that we like don't really realize enough, which is that every moment that you're like with interacting with your horse, you're teaching them something. And like, it's really important that we're always really aware of the signals that we are giving our horse because you know, it's like if you're not aware all the time of what's happening, then all of a sudden you wonder like why your horse runs on top of you or why you can't get your horse in the horse trailer. <laughs> okay, so that was really bad. And I hope you noticed that the whole time I was talking to you, he was being very rude. He was in my space. He was licking all over me and what was I doing? I was backing away from him. So this is what I was doing. You may, I hope you notice. Let me know in the comments if you noticed. But he was coming into my space and I was backing away. And then he was coming into my space. He was rudely licking all over me. This is very rude. Can you imagine if someone came up to you in the grocery store and started licking you? That would be very awkward. So there's no reason we need to let our horses do this. That said, I was a bad girl and I gave him a sugar, which I never do because I don't like to hand feed my horses. So I've primed him to behave in this way. And it's really important that you think about every moment that you spend with your horse, you're teaching them something. So I think one of the best ways to establish trust and communication and a better relationship with your horse is to start here on the ground. I'm gonna be doing a live webinar on Sunday, November 12th, all about groundwork and establishing trust and communication with your horse on the ground. And when you start to really pay attention to these signals on the ground, it makes a huge difference in everything with you, do, you do with your horse, particularly with the riding. So because horses are big, they're about 10 times as massive as we are, they react about five times as fast, it's super important that they are respectful of us. And a rule that I have is that at all times, I imagine a space bubble around me. So I want my space bubble to be about like two or three feet. It's the same space bubble that you have like when you're talking to someone, right? Like if you are talking to someone in the grocery store, there's a comfortable distance that you have between each other. I don't know if you've ever had someone that like comes up really close to you and you just feel very awkward or intimidated by how close they are. And it's the same thing with my horse. So I like my horse to stay away from me, out of my space bubble, and I need to make sure that he, that I can give him signals that's, that tell him, like this is my space bubble. So I would like him to stay this far away from me. And that doesn't mean that I can't go into his space bubble. So I'm like, yeah, I wanna be able to love on my horse and pet my horse. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't, but what I'm saying is that you need to be very intentional about that. And if you think about what was happening at the beginning of this video, that was very rude behavior. And he was being dominant over me in that moment, which you really don't want. You need to be the leader. You need to be in charge of your horse and like all the time aware. So like there he stepped towards me and I didn't ask for it. So I was saying, no, like you stay in your space bubble. I stay over here. If I want to come and pet you, I will come and pet you, but you're not allowed to just come on top of me. And a big reason why this is important as well for when you're riding is that you need your horse to be respectful of your leg and your rein aid. So it's all about pressure and release and your horse really understanding that. So my challenge to you is as you're going through your regular activities your week, this week, really think about that space bubble. And like when you're leading your horse, or when you're stopping to talk to someone, really be aware, does your horse respect your space bubble? Do they stay out of your space bubble? 
Can you ask them to back away from you by getting a little bigger and sending energy towards them and just saying, hey, you know what, this is my space. You stay out of my space. A big part of why this is essential as well is because if your horse unexpectedly spooks at something on the ground, which is gonna happen, they have to understand your space bubble. If you haven't established this with them, when they spook, they're gonna jump right on top of you. And that is dangerous. You're gonna get trampled, you're gonna get stepped on, you're gonna get hurt, and it's, it will be your fault. So you have to think about this at all times, that your horse is respectful, of your space bubble, that they stay out of your space, and that every single moment you spend with your horse on the ground, you're teaching them something. At the beginning of this video, what was I teaching him? I was teaching him that he's dominant, that I'm submissive, that I'm a pushover, that he doesn't need to respect me, and that he can walk on top of me. And if I allow this to continue when I get on him, I'm gonna have the same attitude. So be sure to sign up RSVP to my webinar, I'm gonna go a lot into the details of how horses perceive the world, how horses interact with one another, and then how we can use that to have a better relationship and communicate with our horses. And there's also a great PDF for you to download to help you out with your horse's ground manner. So I hope you enjoy this and think about your horse's, your space bubble and that your horse really respects it.